Hello viewers. Today I'll show you how to make a delicious Kashmiri meatballs recipe using venison. The recipe is called venison gustaba. Traditionally it is made with lamb or goat mince but I've used venison and it tasted great. For this recipe, I'll be using 300 grams of venison mince, which I'll put in a bowl. I'll add 50 grams of grated goat fat or suet into it. And then use a hand blender to blend the meat and the fat together. Then I'll add salt, some crushed black cardamom seeds and crushed deghi mirch. Then knead everything together with my hands and then shape them into large meatballs like I'm showing you here. Here are all the meatballs ready. The spices I'll be using are one and a half tablespoon of ginger powder, two tablespoons of fennel powder, one teaspoon each of cumin and coriander powder, one teaspoon dalchini powder, half teaspoon clove powder and half teaspoon green elaichi powder, two bay leaves or tej patta, one large red onion sliced, two fifty milliliters of whipped yogurt at room temperature. 500 milliliters of lamb stock. Add some hot water in a stock pot. Add the bay leaves, followed by all the ground spices, the lamb stock, cover and bring the pot to a boil. Then add the venison meatballs into the pot. And let them simmer for half an hour. In a separate pot add a bit of oil and fry the onions. Turn the heat down and add 2 to 3 tablespoons of yogurt and mix it in. Then add the rest of the yogurt into the pot and give the pot a good stir. Now fish out the meatballs and put them in the yogurt gravy. Then add the stock into the pot as well. Give the pot a mix. Add some salt. Cover and simmer for 15 minutes. Then add some strands of Kashmiri saffron and some dried mint leaves. And simmer for two more minutes. And there you go, our delicious venison gustaba is ready. Let's plate up our yummy, soupy, hearty venison gustaba. Garnish with some fresh mint leaves and serve with naans or chapatis. Gustaba is an iconic meatball recipe from Kashmir and it tastes and looks very different from other meat recipes of the region. The complex flavors of this recipe will stay with you for a long time. It's the perfect recipe for the autumn and the winters. Give it a try and enjoy. Mm -hmm.